Women Spire is our chance to recognise and celebrate women from all over Wales who are working hard to create a better world for themselves, their families, friends and communities. Tonight we are here to celebrate their achievements and hold them up as role models for future generations. As with any awards programme, some difficult decisions have had to be made. We have a staggering amount of nominations from each and every corner of Wales. Well, I think it, it, it reflects the work the company's doing to try and um, you know, make it a better place to work, more diverse, more than anything. I think it's my colleagues, particularly my female colleagues, who really, whether they like it or not, they're an inspiration and a role model. And, and that's what's helping us to, to become a, a more diverse place where everyone can make the best use of their talents. I think it's simple. Our company is based in Wales. We'd like to support Welsh companies and we like to support Welsh women. So, simple. It just it means the thing that people find me inspiring and I'm just me. It means the world that needs to be recognised. So, yeah. We feel passionately about promoting women in business uh, and particularly from a learning point of view, enabling them to have their own development and own their own development to really be something special. It's like showing us proof. To me, it means quite a lot because then I can encourage other women to come into the construction industry, basically do exactly what I do. I think this really is a statement of intent to um, really progress things further in, in Wales in the, uh, in the future. Abby tells me I've changed loads of lives and I just do what I love doing and I'm so passionate about it. I you know, exercise, change my life, so I just want as many women to experience that as possible. So for me, I'm just following my passion, but uh, it's changing lives in the, in the process, which is fantastic. Women make up more than 50% of the population, so we should be getting much more recognition than we get across all of the fields. So hopefully, you know, this is just the beginning rather than the, the main event and we'll keep building on this. It means a lot to be recognised for the work that we've done, um, but it's good as well, it's an opportunity to get my science pack out there and the work that we're all doing as a team to try and promote more women um, in science and technology in the rural economy. The awards are becoming a, a really important annual fixture for Wales to celebrate the contribution that women make um, across all areas of Welsh life um, and to really raise awareness of the barriers and the challenges that we still face and that we need to work really hard to overcome. I'm over the moon to, uh, to be part of something like this and I'm um, absolutely honoured to go against so many outstanding women but to take the trophy at the end. Women often feel that they can't achieve it, they don't have the confidence. Still, in the 21st century, we have to say, women, you can do it. Women, of course you can. And it's very important that we have women speaking up at every level, and Quaratec is making that happen. I hope that by winning this award, it will make women feel that they can do whatever they want to in the world of television, whether that be a creative role, a technical role, or an executive role. Just go for it and have the confidence that you can achieve what you want to. By doing things, events like this, I think it showcases the, the women and what they're able to do and uh, what they can strive for. I'm very pleased and very thankful the person who nominated me. The person with the learning disability can achieve what they can achieve and live independently. Towards the end there, the CEO was saying, go forward and be ambassadors for us for Quaratec. And what I'm feeling right now, feeling this jubilant and honoured, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So Hillary's obviously a fantastic winner in this uh, category, but there are other people who were nominated, there are other fantastic finalists as well. And those people represent the very best of what's happening in Wales in terms of women doing fantastic things. I've been doing this work really for 30 years and um, I'm, I'm reliving now the, all the experiences I've had with lots and lots of young people over the years. If we want young people to be confident young citizens of the future with, with good social capabilities, then they need to learn about this stuff and discuss it and reflect on it in school. It's important to raise awareness of issues like this. At the Open University, as in the name We're Open, we give people a second chance at aspiring to what they want to do and developing the careers or developing their lifestyles and reaching further should they not have had the chance in the past to do that. We'll hopefully bring attention to equality and human rights issues and uh, help people uh, everywhere really to, to push forward and, and fight for gender equality. I think it's a great opportunity to celebrate uh, very inspiring women. I think it 
demonstrates what we need to do, what can be done and what we can achieve in the future. Well I'm absolutely ecstatic, uh, there was uh, so many other very worthy um, people and organisations in the finalist categories. Um, I'm very proud to be a woman in policing and I'm very proud to take this leadership award back to David Powers Police. I think this event does a lot for equality in Wales and it's been really, really uh, refreshing to hear some you know, honest stories from real people. That's the big takeaway that, that I've had from this evening. This flagship award is chosen from the winners of our 12 categories. Her complete belief that anything is possible. Coupled with her determination and really hard work, she really is a formidable winner. Congratulations on all of our behalf to Sean Redley. <laughs> We can't say how I'm feeling. I'm just proud of myself. I, just, I don't see myself the way up to you all, TV. If you have a dream, just go for it. Don't let anything stop you. I haven't let anything stop me. If you've got barriers, you find a way to smash through them. If you want it, just go for it. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Just go for it. This award is a very special award, clearly it's the champion of champions and it couldn't go to a more deserving winner. It's been a phenomenal evening, uh, all of the nominees have been superb and you have done amazingly well and we're very proud to have been able to sponsor it this year in 2017, so thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. <laughs>